Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of Cat Lady. Now this is a card drafting, um, marketplace kind of uh, a little bit of take that type of game. And so we're just going to go right into the review. Uh, so for the rule book, I would give the rule book uh, four out of five. The rule book is uh, laid out pretty good. There was just a little, uh, some minor issues that we were just trying to figure out. And uh, from reading it, we thought it was a little vague on some of the descriptions. Um, like for the cat toys, um, it's not per, you're not trying to get the same ones. You want to get separate ones. And that's how you get the one, three, five, eight, and 12. Uh, so they have to be different. So like this would be one, two, and three. So that would be five points. But it's just some minor issues in the rules that we thought would could have been uh, better written and uh, easier to uh, figure out. But so four out of five in the rules. Component quality, um, I would give this a four out of five. Um, the cards are um, they're good stock, but they do bend a little bit. And so just a little concerned about um, the longevity of it, the cards. Um, and also the blocks were a little, um, if I would say if, you, if you're gonna get one, uh, there's two different uh, cat ladies. I would get the tin can one that actually has the, the wooden pieces that actually indicate the food, um, milk, and uh, the tuna. So I would uh, suggest that. It also, you also have a better uh, storage solution and just the pieces itself, it's easier to figure out. Because right now you're just uh, going with the purple, that's a wild. Uh, the red is pretty much uh, chicken. Uh, the blue is tuna, the white is milk. And so, I would say the component quality, four out of five. Um, cards could have been a little better. Um, so experience, five out of five. Great experience, great game. Uh, love the how the game flows, the length of the game. It's quick, it does not overstay its welcome. Um, and it has quite a bit of strategy to it. And so five out of five in the experience. Mechanics, um, I would give like a four out of five because it is very simplistic. It is a filler game. So you're looking at this as a filler game, you know, like 20, 25 minutes max, and it's done. Um, so what you do is you pretty much pick uh, from the market. You can go across or you can go up and down. And so, but as each per player takes his turn, they move the little cat token from, from you go want to put it either here, 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 here. And so, and that um, pretty much makes it where your opponent next turn cannot pick this roll. They could go up and down, but you pick three cards at a time. Um, but, and, and, and then when you get cat, like, like this cat, it also shows the bottom. And in the game, you have to make sure you have them fed. So you have to have this. You have to have one tuna and one chicken that you have obtained from the market. Um, you can put kittens underneath the actual cat, and it'll say kitten if you have the kitten expansion. Also, if you have a spray bottle, you can always move the little cat token. So if someone blocked you on uh, a previous turn, you can move it. And that allows you to do that, uh, that with a sp uh, spray bottle. Uh, the way to get the stray cat is you have to have two lost cards in the market. You have to obtain them. Um, like I said, the toy, you have to have separate ones for it to add up more. This one is negative two points if you only have one of them. Uh, and then for, uh, if you have two or three, it's one point per cat fed. And then four, you have two points per cat fed. That's actually a game winner card. Uh, then you have superhero, the most gets six. Um, if you have none, negative two. 
So, and then you have your tuna, uh, milk, chicken, and wild card. And the uh, pretty much stray cats give you the most points. Like if you feed the most cats, Hemingway is worth seven points. Or uh, this one, Lavar is worth four points for each set of black, orange, white cats you feed. You may feed cow any number of food, and she is worth two points for each. So in the game, um, is the way I did it is if you have any more, um, originally, like if you have a food, it's worth one point in the game. So if you put it on top of the cow, uh, if you have any leftovers, you get actually two points. So you get one extra point for each food. So just phenomenal um, mechanics. And so mechanics, five, five. Um, so replayability, I would give this a five out of five. Highly replayable, extremely fun. Um, can play with this, with kids, um, um, older adults, um, just, you know, gateway game type. And it's enough uh, strategy for people that, you know, just uh, advanced board gamers or uh, just get into the hobby. This would uh, appeal to both. And so replayability, five out of five. Uh, overall total, I'll give it a four out of five. Uh, just because it's, it's not at the strategic level or enough uh, options where it warrants five out of five, but just a phenomenal um, uh, family game. This is a great family game and it's also a filler game. Um, just want to state that that is quick. And with filler games, a lot of times um, it lacks a little bit of strategy, but just enough strategy where um, it makes you think and it has a competitive edge. And that this is what that is, and it fills that in a great way. Um, so, just a phenomenal game. Four out of five, uh, seven out of ten, or seven point five out of ten. Um, it might go up as time goes on. Also, we only have one of the expansions, so you know, as you know, if we get another expansion or they uh, do a revision or second version and implements more things and more strategic elements, you never know. So, but overall right now, at the current time, I would give four out of five, 7.5 out of 10, um, close to eight. So, but just phenomenal game. Uh, and again, this is a family game, filler game. So if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. My social media is down below in the description. I'm gonna have a link of the game uh, on in the description of where to buy it. And I'll see you in the next video.